guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here i'm jalissa in today's video i'm going to share with you guys my least favorite hair tools of 2021 just a quick disclaimer i'm not trying to like offend anybody with this video and i'm just respectfully just sharing with you guys the hair tools that i didn't like too much in 2021 and why just because i don't like these hair tools doesn't mean that they're bad hair tools or that maybe other people don't like them so yeah i just wanted to put that out there so i guess i'm going to start with the ghd rise most of these hair tools i don't even have with me because i returned most of them like the ghd rise i just felt like that hair tool was very overpriced i love ghd hair tools but that one is just not my favorite i just felt like it pulled my hair a lot and i don't know i just wasn't even in love with the curls that i was getting with that hair tool i just felt like i could get better curls with other hair tools that are even a lot more affordable and way more gentle on my hair so yeah that was a big thumbs down for me but i really do love ghd hair tools i've loved ghd hair tools for a while now especially the ghd platinum plus it's just such a good straightener and it's actually in my favorites straighteners of 2021 so I love GHD hair tools, but that one was just not for me. I know some people like it, some people use it. Maybe it's good for like volume to add volume at the root, but I just, it wasn't like the best hair tool for me of 2021. So I just returned that one. Another hair tool that I didn't love that I tried in 2021 was the Lange Le Waver. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It didn't give me a very consistent wave and I feel like that hair tool is actually so expensive. It's not like super expensive but I actually compared it to the Revlon and the Revlon gave me a nicer wave and it's way more affordable than the Lange Le Waver. So yeah, the Le Waver retails for $100, which is so much money. I honestly feel like that's too much money for the type of hair tool that you're getting. If I had to choose between that one and the Revlon, which is like 20 bucks, let me just double check how much is the Revlon because the Revlon was so much more affordable. I mean, the launch was gifted to me, which I really appreciate, but I just preferred the revlon um that one retails actually for only 18 bucks and i felt like the revlon gave me a way better wave so yeah i never really used that hair tool again just because i felt like the waves weren't you know that consistent and they just kind of looked a little bit messy so yeah i didn't love that hair tool but now let's move on to the next one i'm just checking my phone so don't mind me if I'm like looking down. If you watch my videos, then you know that this one was pretty like obvious that I didn't really like it. Um, but it's the Wind Spin Curl Diffuser. I'm gonna put videos in here, but that's just an attachment for like your blow dryer. Um, I didn't like that one because it just didn't give me like nice waves. It didn't really give me waves. So I just wanted to put that in this video. But I think you guys already knew from that video that I didn't really like that attachment. It's just not worth it. It didn't really give me a wave or anything. But yeah, that one's a thumbs down for me, unfortunately. And also some other hair tools that I didn't really like of 2021 were just like a couple of Dyson Airwrap dupes. I tried two, one from AliExpress, which was like 60 bucks. And then the other one was like from another brands that's called like done hair tools or something. And that one was like 200 bucks and I just didn't like those like Dyson Airwrap dupes. So yeah, those were a thumbs down for me. I also didn't like the new Revlon cordless flat iron. Even looking at it now on the Amazon website, it doesn't have good reviews. Like it doesn't have a lot of stars and it's just, it wasn't good. I did not like that one. I mean, especially for my thick curly hair, like that was just not it's a big no for me. <laughs> the plates were just so tiny and then they were just like so loose. It was just hard for me to press my hair and get a smooth look. And so the battery was just so bad. Like it would just die right away. It wouldn't even last like 30 minutes. So yeah, I just did not like that one at all. So yeah, I just felt like the plates on that hair tool were very loose, not firm at all. And 
it just didn't give me a nice sleek look so i definitely did not like that hair at all and i see on amazon that people are having the same exact issue that i was having um someone put won't clamp firmly on hair i didn't like this product at all it doesn't clamp firmly on my hair i had to try holding the clamp together while straightening my hair i'm literally going to insert a video in here so you guys can see that i was trying to do the same exact thing in my video i mean that was the big issue with this hair tool and also the other review says doesn't get hot enough to do the job battery dies fast that's exactly what i said in my video the battery just does not last at all like honestly it was just so hard to use this hair tool like if anything it just made things a little bit harder and when a hair tool makes the job of like straightening and styling your hair harder then like what's the point of using the hair tool if you have other hair tools that make your life easier <laughs> or just make everything easier quicker and yeah okay so let's move on to the next hair tool I also tried this like Revlon steam pod type of hair tool. I'm going to put a video in here so you guys can see it. It's called the Revlon Salon Smooth and Shine Hair Styler. And so this one's only 37 bucks. But again, I didn't like it. It just didn't give me a sleek look. It just, it wasn't, it just didn't work for me. It left my hair very frizzy. It's not like the steam pod where like the steam kind of helps your hair look like very smooth and shiny. But no, this one just made my hair look very frizzy, poofy. It just was not it for me. I just did not like that one, unfortunately. And I think I used this on straight hair already just to make it even more sleek. And I'm pretty sure that didn't even work for me. So I can't even imagine using this on like my natural curly hair. It would just not work. I also didn't love the Octo Curl too much. I feel like there's other better stuff in the market for like heatless curls. Like even the flower curl is a lot more comfortable. You put it on top right here and then you just kind of wrap your hair around the little rings and it's just a lot more comfortable to sleep in. The Octo Curl is just, there's just too much stuff going on and... I don't know i'm not too crazy about it it's not like bad it's not like terrible or anything but i just got like loose waves i didn't really get like too much of a curl and it was just so much work i never used it again after that video um just because it's like a lot of work and i didn't love the results too much okay guys that is it for this video i hope you guys liked it let me know in the comments down below if there's a hair tool that you want to add to that list that you maybe tried this year that you didn't love too much and again this video is just me trying to give you guys my honest opinion on some of the hair tools that i tried this year i hope you guys like this video subscribe if you're liking my channel so far and i hope you guys are liking vlogmas so far i'll see you guys in my next video which is actually tomorrow so i'll see you guys tomorrow i love you guys so much Mwah. bye bye